Hi, sweet friends. It's Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga. I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm thrilled to be spending time with you whenever your schedule permits. I did want to tell you that if you're not following along with me on social media or even subscribing to get updates from my website, then you're missing some of the great things that are going on around the Birmingham community that I get to be a part of and I'd love for you to be a part of too. So you can follow along at Earthkeeper Yoga on both Facebook and Instagram, as well as my website, earthkeeperyoga.com. And please, as always, be sure to like and subscribe here on my YouTube channel. It lets me know that you're seeing what I'm doing, you appreciate what I'm doing, and you want more of it. Leave me those comments, and I'll listen and read them and find new and exciting things to bring to you via YouTube and in the community. I love seeing you in both places. So as we get started today, I do want to let you know I do have my trusty blanket, and I am going to be using a block today. If you don't have a yoga block, just grab a really thick book or um, maybe a little bit firmer of a pillow, and it'll be great for what we're going to use it for. So grab what you need, and I'll meet you right here. You're going to have a soft gaze towards the floor, eyes closed. And the theme for our class today is restoring balance. So we go through these periods of feeling like we're super high energy and then others where we feel almost lethargic. So just trying to work towards that just state of equilibrium. We'll give ourselves a permission to try to reach that here today. So I invite you just to come into this space. Allowing yourself to find some ease right here in this comfy seat. Start to bring attention to your breath. You don't have to change anything about it yet, just Find that connection. Now let the breath start to deepen. Noticing the pause at the top of the breath and then exhaling fully, releasing everything. Give yourself three more rounds just like that. The last one. Beautiful. Take an inhale and then exhale. You can lift your chin just a little bit. Bring your awareness back into this space with your eyes open. We're going to roll down onto our backs and immediately send our legs up into the sky. So notice your back connected to the mat. You can take a moment here just to circle those ankles, point and flex the feet. And let those shoulders relax down to the earth. We're actually going to go ahead and start to warm up the legs a little bit right here. So just start to bicycle the legs. See if you can keep those nice, big, deep breaths. Just another couple of breaths right here.
and then send both legs up towards the sky. From here, bend your left knee, let the left sole of the foot come to the mat. Bring your arms into a wide T. Release the shoulders down. So go ahead and flex through that right foot. We're gonna inhale, and then as you exhale, let the leg open to the right. Find your edge, and then inhale to lift it back up. So do that three more times. And we'll meet with that leg up towards the sky on that fresh inhale. And then exhale, let the leg lower all the way down your mat with control. Release the leg fully. Send the left leg long to meet the right. And now with those toes on the right foot kind of splayed out to the right, the heel in towards that left leg. Take a fresh breath and let that heel run up the inside of the left thigh before releasing that right leg out to the right. So if you have a block and you need that under that right knee, go right ahead. We're basically laying down in tree pose. One more breath. Go ahead and reach this right knee up towards the sky, right sole of the foot back to the earth. Inhale to lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. And then exhale to let the left leg fall out to the left. This is when you might realize that you didn't give yourself enough space on one side. Inhale to lift. And then exhale to lower. See if you can keep that left foot flexed. If you can't, that's fine. This will be our last round. Freshly inhale that left leg back up towards the sky. And then exhale, let it release all the way down. Relaxing the leg fully, relaxing through the hips. And then we'll extend this right leg long to meet the left. Let those toes on the left foot fall out to the left, and then inhale, heel up towards that right leg, and releasing that left knee down to the mat. Find the ease here. Last breath. Lift that left knee back up towards the sky and then bend the right knee so the right sole of the foot comes to the mat. Take your palms and bring them face down on either side. So inhales, lift, inhale here. Exhale, lower. Three more. Relax through the neck and the jaw. The last one. And release fully into the mat on the exhale, and then you can bring the knees into the chest. We're going to rock and roll but we're just coming to seated. We're not going all the way over into table. We'll find the inside of our feet or the soles of our feet connected for butterfly pose. You can bring those hands down towards the ankles. Keep the knees lifted intentionally up towards the ceiling and find the length through the spine. Let's take a fresh inhale together here and then exhale, press those knees down towards the mat. 
stretch in the back of the neck, you can bring the chin down towards the chest to deepen the stretch. One more breath. Inhale, and as you lift the head, release the tension of pressing down on the knees. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a forward fold from here. So if you wanna give yourself just a little bit more space in that diamond shape, go ahead. We'll take an inhale to lift the arms up over the head, and then exhale to fold forward. Find your edge, stay with the breath. Last one. And slow walk those hands up towards center. You can bring those knees together and we'll make our way into table. And when you make your way into table, and those wrists are under the shoulders, go ahead and curl your toes. Take an inhale. And then exhale, send the hips back towards the heels, getting a stretch through the bottoms of your feet. Release any tension in the upper body. And one more breath. All right, inhale back to your table. Let the tops of your feet come back to the mat. So from here, we'll move through a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale to lift the crown and the tailbone up. And the exhale, slow release of the breath as you curl tailbone and crown in. Just keep moving. And give yourself one more round. We'll meet back in that neutral table. Curl those toes again, fresh breath. And then exhale to lift into your down dog. So you've got five breaths here. Feel free to connect breath to movement or find stillness, whatever serves you here. Last one. And we'll go ahead and take a slow walk up to the top of the mat. Let's meet in a forward fold. We'll take an inhale, halfway long spine. And exhale, slow release back down towards the earth. Inhale, down low. And then we'll take a slow rise, coming up in a way that honors your low back. As you come to stand, find length through the spine, connection with the feet to the mat. Two breaths. Okay. Take an inhale, reach the arms and the gaze up. And then exhale to release the shoulders. So from here, lower the gaze where you can find 
dristi or balancing a focal point in front of you. We're going to take an inhale and see if we can come up onto the balls of the feet. Hold it here four breaths. Inhale. Exhale, lower the feet, and as you do, find a forward fold. Release through the back of the neck. Go ahead and give yourself that side-to-side -side sway. One more breath. Coming back to stillness, we're going to do that same thing one more time. So let's inhale halfway along spine. Exhale, slowly releasing back to the mat. Inhale, down low. And exhale, slow rise. Coming back to mountain in your time, staying two breaths. Inhale, the gaze and the hands up above the head. And exhale, intentionally releasing the shoulders down the back. Find your dristi, your soft gaze, focal point. And then we'll inhale to lift onto the balls of the feet for four more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, lower the feet and find that forward fold. Release the neck and the shoulders. And take an inhale, step this right foot back, find a low lunge. Sink those hips down, send that right heel back, find some length through the spine. One more breath. Let the hands come to the mat. Press into the hands. Kick this left leg up towards the sky. And then lower it into your down dog. Bend the knees, press into the balls of the feet. Let's ripple into plank. Take an inhale. See if you can lift this left leg behind you and then lower through your chaturanga into your up dog. Curl toes, lift hips, down dog. One more breath. And walk up to the top of the mat. Let's find that forward fold. And we'll take an inhale, step the left leg long, finding that low lunge. Crown reaches away. Left heel presses towards the back of the mat. Sink the hips down just a little lower. Two more breaths. Lower the palms down. Take an inhale. Send the right leg up towards the sky. And then make your way into down dog.
Bend the knees, press into the balls of the feet. Let's ripple into that plank, long spine here. Take an inhale, option to lift the right leg, lowering through chaturanga, and into up dog. Bringing the knees to the mat, sending the hips back, finding child's pose, releasing through the low back. One more breath. Inhale, we'll move through table right back into down dog. Take an inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. And then bring knee outside of the right elbow so that the right foot can come outside of the right hand. Check that that left wrist is right under the left shoulder and sink the hips down just a bit. Stay on both hands. You can always lower that left knee down to the mat if you need to. So we'll take an inhale, reach this right arm up towards the sky, let the gaze follow. And then we'll find sewing machine. So we'll exhale to thread it through the left. Inhale to lift. And exhale to thread it through. One more. And after you thread through that last time, bring that right hand back under the right shoulder. Lift the hips, make your way back into down dog. We'll take an inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. And then left knee outside of the elbow, left foot comes down outside of the left hand. Hold it here just a moment, sinking the hips, finding that stability, lowering that right knee if you need to. And then we'll make sure that that right wrist is right under the right hand for support. We'll inhale to lift the left arm up and exhale to thread it through. And give yourself three more. After that last one, go ahead and bring that left hand down under the left shoulder and make your way back into down dog. Take an inhale, bend the knees, press into the balls of the feet and exhale into your plank. Inhale, move through your chaturanga into your up dog. And then we'll lower the knees, send the hips back, child's pose. Let the shoulders roll completely down towards the mat. Rest completely. Find the ease. Two more breaths. Inhale, let's make our way into table. We'll curl toes, lift hips, down dog. And let's go ahead and take a slow walk to the center of the mat. 
we'll meet there in a forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway long spine. Exhale, really slowly back down towards the mat. Inhale down low. And then exhale, slow rise coming up. We'll meet just like we did at the beginning of the class. So finding the connection to the mat, connecting to the breath. Give yourself two right here. Inhale, lift the arms. They're going to come into a V and then settle the shoulders. Turn towards either direction of your um, mat so that you're on the long edge and then bring the feet wide. So once you get into this wide stance, we're going to move into star from here. So all you're going to do is start to engage from the soles of your feet. Ripple your strength up until you feel it all the way into your fingertips. Breathe here, four breaths. Inhale. And then exhale, give yourself a forward fold. Take a moment here just to feel in deeper into the back body. Last breath. Bend those knees. Take an inhale. And slowly start to rise. And when you come to stand, those arms are going to come into a T. So this is where we might not all be together, and that's okay. So because we're going to go both directions. So spin on the ball of your left foot to send your left toes towards one of the edges of your mat and sink down into your warrior two. Keeping that right shoulder in line with the right hip. One more breath. Inhale, straighten through that left leg. Send fingertips forward and then make your way into your triangle. Keeping your heart open, gaze towards that right thumb. One more breath. Bend into that left knee so that you can bring the hands down to the mat. We'll come back to the wide, long edge and meet in a forward fold. Just noticing the difference between the left and right sides of your body. Bend your knees, take an inhale, and we'll slowly exhale, coming to rise. And those arms will come back into the T. We'll spin those right toes towards the opposite edge of your mat and come into warrior two. So check that those hips are square towards the side and not that left hip isn't coming forward. It's open. And two more breaths. Straighten through the right leg. We'll send those fingertips forward and then down, finding triangle. Last two. Bend the right knee, let that left hand come down. And we'll walk ourselves back towards the long edge. One breath right here.
Bend the knees, take an inhale. And then exhale, we'll slowly start to rise up. And this time the arms lift into a V. And then exhale to step up the shoulder. So shimmy the feet closer together, but make them where they're not touching, like if you were at the top of the mat. So give yourself just a little bit more space. We'll take an inhale, see if we can come to balance on the balls of our feet for four breaths with the feet wider. Find your soft focal point. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, lower those hands in front of the heart, bow chin to chest, and turn towards your top of your mat, but stay in the middle of your mat. Give yourself a breath right here. Inhale, lift the arms in the gaze. And then we'll exhale to forward fold. Walking hands forward, feet back, finding down dog. One more breath. Bend your knees, press into the balls of your feet. Let's ripple into plank. Lower the knees if you'd like. Take an inhale. And then exhale to move through your chaturanga into your up dog. Release the hips. This time, lower the knees to the mat, send the hips back, and then let those arms reach long towards the top of your mat. We'll take a fresh breath, and then lower the upper body into puppy. Curl that tailbone in. I'm changing the stretch, one more breath. So I'm going to give you two options here. You can stay here and curl toes and lift into dolphin. Brow comes off the floor. Or you can move into down dog. We'll spend three breaths there either way. Now, depending on where you are, if you're in dolphin, you can make your way into down dog. You can come down through hands and knees if you need to. One more breath. Let's take a slow walk up to the top of the mat. We'll meet there in a forward fold. We'll take an inhale, halfway long spine. And then exhale to release down towards the earth. Inhale down low. And then exhale, slow rise, coming up in a way that serves. Taking a fresh breath to reach the arms and the gaze up towards the sky. And then exhale, hands in front of the heart, bow chin to chest. Take an inhale and softly lift the gaze back up towards me. We've got two different rounds of balance for today. So the first is just ash tree. So we'll keep the hands at the Go ahead and find connection with your feet on the mat. The spine. And to the left side of the body. Keep that strength and length through the spine. Lift this right knee up. Keep the right foot flexed. You can stay here or if you're feeling it, opening that right knee to the right. Engaging through the center of your body. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, bring the right knee back in. And then exhale to lower it down. One breath right here. Inhale. Moving over to the right, find that length through the spine, light on those left toes, lifting that left knee when you're ready, keeping that left foot flexed. And then we'll inhale to open that left knee to the left, keeping engagement through that core and through that left foot. Bring that left knee in, and then exhale to lower. Give yourself two breaths right here. All right, for round two of balance, you can do what we just did. I'll cue you to lift the right knee again. Right peace fingers can go to right toes to send the leg long in front and open to the side if it feels okay. You could do this with your back against a wall just to give you that support and to start to create that muscle memory. You could also use a strap around the foot. So we'll do that on either side, but feel free to just move through what we did before if that's better for you today. Take an inhale, and we'll move over to the left side of the body. Find the connection, we lift this right knee. Stay here or reach down, peace fingers for big toe, and st send the leg out long to the front. Option to open it to the side if you're feeling it. Back to center, and then lower the leg down. Equal weight on both feet, give yourself a breath. Find that connection with the right foot on the mat. We'll take an inhale. And then exhale over to the right. Lift this left knee. Make a decision about where you want to be, or where you want to try to go. It's okay if it doesn't work. Leg extends. And then out to the side if it's okay for you today. Leg back in towards center, bend the knee, lower the foot, two breaths right here. Inhale, lift the arms and the gaze up. And then exhale to forward fold. Go ahead and step those feet back. Meet me in down dog. Take an inhale, lift this right leg up towards the sky, and then we're going to step it outside of that right hand again, finding that lizard pose. This time we're going to lower the knee, top of the left foot, and then let that right knee come out to the right just a bit. You can stay right here, or if you're feeling it, you can come down onto elbows, or you can put the block under your elbows. Keep the link through the spine. So notice any tension that shows up in the back, in the neck, in the shoulders, in the jaw. Last breath. We'll bring hands under shoulders, curl left toes, lift the hips, back to your down dog. Give yourself a nice big inhale and exhale through the nose here.
We'll take an inhale, lift this left leg up towards the sky. And then step it outside of that left hand, lowering that right knee down to the mat. Right top of the foot to the mat. Left knee comes out to the side. You're on that outside edge of the left foot. Keep the length through the spine here and then decide where you want to go with the arms and the upper body. Release the jaw. Last two. All right. Hands under shoulders. If you move those, curl right toes to lift hips. This is our last down dog. Give yourself three breaths right here. Lower those knees down to the mat. And we're going to make our way into that same butterfly posture that we had at the beginning of class. So bring the soles of the feet in towards one another, knees out to either side. Return those hands down by the wrist. Keep the knees up towards the sky. Take an inhale. And then exhale, extend through the spine as the knees press down towards the mat. You can bring the chin in towards the chest. Just note how you're feeling differently within your physical body here right now. Last breath. Inhale. And then exhale to release. This time we're going to send the legs out long in front. Flex the feet. Find that length through the spine. We'll take an inhale to lift the arms and the gaze up. And then exhale, we'll forward fold here. Hands come on either side of the legs. Length through the spine. Just find your edge. Use those exhales to inform. Last breath. Go ahead and walk yourself up. And then the good news is, is you get to go ahead and roll right onto your back. You can bring those knees into your chest or up towards the sky, whatever would feel good here to release through the low back body. Give yourself two more breaths. All right, from here, Take your hands and put them around your right knee. Send your left leg up towards the sky. Just flex through that foot. Maybe bring the knee in towards the chest just a little bit, deepening the stretch through the back of the leg. Take an inhale. And then slowly exhale that left leg all the way down the mat. 
release your right hand into a T over to the right. Keep that left palm on the outside of the right knee. Fresh inhale. And then exhale, slowly let that right knee fall over to the left. Find a place that you can restore right here. Give yourself one more breath. Roll back onto your back, resettling the hips. We'll bend this left knee up into the chest, fingers interlace around the bottom of the knee, and lift this right leg up towards the sky. Bring that knee in closer towards the chest to deepen through that right hamstring. Inhale. And slow exhale, releasing that right leg all the way down the mat. Releasing that left hand into a T. Letting that right hand come outside of the left knee as you roll over. Letting that left knee release somewhere over to the right. Last breath. You can roll back onto your back. Here's six or seven breaths just for you. Whatever your body may be asking for. And slowly start to make your way into whatever Shavasana will look like for you today. Give yourself that nice big deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth as you find ease.
And go ahead and start to bring some awareness back into this space that we have created together. And wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up over your head. Give yourself a full body stretch. Point the toes, reach the fingertips. You can make your way onto one side or the other. Pause here for just another moment, bringing the knees up in towards the chest. And then as you're ready, we'll meet back in a comfortable seat. Chin bowed down towards chest, hands together in prayer in front of the heart. So our quote for today says, the key to finding balance is knowing when you've lost it. Sounds like a fortune cookie. May you know kindness, may you be kind. And may you restore balance when you know that you've lost it. Gratitude. Namaste.